So Dan, this is so exciting to actually have a series focused on what you can do in your home. This is a subject that people are more and more interested in. They're, how can I actually lower the carbon emissions at, at my house? We're actually going to go and look at an array of different houses from uh, a tower block through to semi-detached properties to larger properties. Hopefully by the end of this series, everyone will be able to look and go, actually, I found a solution or a series of solutions for my house and now I can go and start that work. Out of all the people I've ever met, you are the one that knows this industry and this business the best. So let's get on with it. Get out there and film I can't, it. I, I can't wait to report back. The Humble Boiler has been the dominant technology in heating in the UK for decades, but we think it's time for a change. From solar PV to solar thermal, from electrical to thermal storage, air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps, and some exciting new heating technologies. Technologies that could change the way we live for the better. There are real micro changes you can make in your home and in your behaviour that could go an awful long way. You kind of need to talk about it as a whole, you know, how you insulate your property, how you heat your property, when and where you use your, your energy as well. Shouldn't we make, be making this a bit easier for homeowners to say, I, I do want to move past my gas boiler, where do I begin? So there's just been a huge explosion of options for consumers who care about renewable energy and sustainability when it comes to their energy choices. A hot water tank becomes a really great opportunity to start storing low cost and low carbon energy. Can you do some of this yourself or do you need to get an expert in? We make it easy for the customer. So you're not reading general guides, you're reading customised instructions for your specific heating system. You know, an aerated shower head, which incidentally you can fit. Even you, Dan. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I, I'm willing to believe you. <laughs> you screw the old one out and you screw the new one in and it works, you know. What if your battery is on your driveway? However you're generating your power, it makes sense to consider storing that energy when it's cheap and self-consuming that stored energy when energy from the grid is more expensive. What if you could part own a wind farm? A single rotation of one of those turbines can power a UK home for two days. So they are just massive machines. How do we harness that energy and use it within the home for something more useful? Can this work in apartment blocks? Can it work in flats? Can it work in small houses, big houses? How much does it cost and how much can you save? If you're going to switch to something, put in the work. Our audience are a bit geeky. I can say that because I am as well. I'm kind of fascinated by apps and technology integrations. And they say there's nothing more powerful than a good idea whose time has come. Wouldn't it be great if you could take tower blocks like these and completely decarbonize them? One project like this could inspire a hundred more. And that could be huge from a perspective of decarbonization. And I think once people could go in and see it and then feel it, they got it. That's the key, we found the, 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 the holy grail. Fantastic. We see you know, EV charging, domestic heating, the electrification of heat being such a huge thing. You can't do one without the other. You have to try and think about the whole home. Manage your energy usage at home, tailor it to your actual needs, and just stay on top of it. I think most people will be looking at their boiler going, actually, maybe this is the last boiler I'll have. The ubiquity, flexibility and compatibility of electricity is what gives it its killer advantage over fossil fuels. All electric vehicles can take energy from the grid and charge up their battery to use. Vehicle to grid are a special kind of you know, system that will allow the car to put the energy back on the grid again. It's hard to kind of understate how big a shift that is. We work with customers who are installing heat pumps and solar PV and solar thermal and batteries. With a heat pump, we're putting one unit in, three units in from the ground, we'll get four out. So we're quartering the cost of heat. And you're gonna get a very, very energy efficient heat pump system, which yeah. is just phenomenal. Insulation before installation. 
we realise that the key is smart technology. What about wind power in a domestic setting, in a street like this? Our customers will be supplied by their very own wind farm that will then get them a discount on their electricity bill because they are owning what is the, now the UK's cheapest source of electricity. I think the one app to rule them all is, is what, we're, <laughs> what we're all looking for, isn't it? One app to rule them all, I think it's, I, can, I can almost feel Robert getting quite excited about the prospect of that. The newest technologies are almost unstoppable. And so we, we've come a long way very, very quickly. Zero carbon energy homes um, are very much within our reach now. When you say it like that, it does sound ridiculous. <laughs> well, of course, but it is ridiculous. I'm really excited about this project. Things are set to change and really, really fast. It's time for the Swiss Army knife of electricity to cut our carbon emissions. A, a home series that covers the, the wide gamut of what you can do in your home is really important. So I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this. In five years' time or 10 years time, we, we see the world being quite different, uh, a fully charged world if you like. Hashtag stop burning stuff. 